This video is the second of a multi-part series on the history of marquetry. The first covered works made in ancient times up to the 19th century. The next videos highlight the work of more contemporary marketarians. It is excerpted from my recent book, Painting with Light, A Guide to Laser Marquetry and Inlay, available on Amazon.com. Today, we'll focus on three artists who represent the front line of contemporary marquetry in the United States, each in very different ways, Silas Kopf, Patrick Edwards, and Paul Church. There are a growing number of artisans using lasers in their work, but most of the artists profiled in this series proudly cut their veneer using traditional methods, such as saws and knives. Some of this is due to age, personal style, and the fact that lasers used to cost tens of thousands of dollars when they first made their tool choices decades ago. It would be hard to talk about modern inlay without mentioning the amazing work of Silas Kopf. He has been pushing the boundaries of design and creation of marquetry furniture for the past 50 years. An architect by training, he received his degree from Princeton in 1972. He later studied traditional techniques at the École Boulle in Paris with a craftsman's grant from the National Endowment for the Arts and was named a Master of the Medium for 2015 by the Smithsonian Institution. Early on, he decided that he wanted to make art that was usable, such as furniture and other objects. He worked under the renowned furniture designer Wendell Castle for two years, before starting his own studio in the Berkshires mountain town of East Hampton. Silas mainly uses the traditional methods in his work, including a chevalet to expand his work beyond the typical subjects usually depicted by other artisans, including trompe l'oeil concepts. He is not averse to using technology, and unlike some of his peers, doesn't curl up his nose about its use in art or furniture, saying if they want to gnaw it out with their teeth, that's fine. He occasionally uses a laser to cut repeated patterns and lettering in some of his pieces. Silas has often used his own image in many of his pieces, and it's interesting to see his age progression drawn in wood. This piece uses an image of his father, glued behind a mirror with the silver scratched out in front of the wood, for a striking effect. San Diego-based Patrick Edwards has long been an established dealer in the world of antique furniture. He started his highly regarded furniture restoration company, Antique Refinisher, in 1969 and has been averse to using any kind of power tools in his work. Although he has a degree from the University of California, San Diego in applied physics, Patrick represents the extreme side of artisans who are resistant to new technology being used in an old tradition. Patrick founded the American School of French Marquetry after studying with Dr. Pierre Ramond at the École Boulle in Paris. Edwards School has had a major influence in promoting traditional French marquetry techniques in the United States. Patrick has been working with another marquetry artist, Patrice Lejeune, on a series of treasure boxes inspired by late 17th century decorative chests. Besides his more traditional work, Patrice has developed a unique style of marquetry he calls technique fusion. Paul's Church started his woodworking career as a young apprentice, building church organs in Switzerland. He then trained in traditional furniture making, marquetry and stone inlay in Italy, and years later, became a boat builder in England. The breadth of his work is amazing, and he is known for embedding stones and shell into his work. The lizard in this table is made up of thinly cut lapis lazuli, malachite, and river stone inlaid into a pollard ash, mahogany, and rosewood table. Paul uses lasers for about 10% of his work, but he primarily relies on the saw using a technique known as packet cutting. It was derived from Boole's original technique and involves dividing the image up into as many as 16 layers of wood sheets using a very thin scroll saw. Thanks for watching. The next video in the series will focus on four artists who have taken marquetry to a new level by experimenting with new materials and methods to present their work.